Jenny, you wrote a song that's loved and sung all around the world. You could be doing anything you want to do. Why are you spending your time investing in these people? Um, hmm. I'm wise. <laughs> <laughs> I know good ground when I see it. And these guys right here love the Lord. And um, I can't think of anything better to do than um, plant seed. <laughs> it will grow um, fruit for perpetuity. So my expectation is these guys are going to just keep spreading the kingdom everywhere they walk. Mm -hmm. And so I could write a song, um, but if I can teach everybody to just lift their own voice and their own song, if I could teach the saints of God to go sing their own uh, expression of faith on top of their circumstances, then I feel like I've done um, an, a far greater thing. So um, I love these ones. It's my great joy to invest in them. I think they're absolutely worth it. Their voices I love so much. I've never gotten used to the sound of them. They still make my jaw hit the floor. Mm -hmm. so. so all of you have probably written hundreds of songs with Jenny. Tell me about some of your favorites. What songs do you want to do today? Well, there's one that I absolutely love that um, actually was written at the first Emerging Sound Camp. Mm -hmm. With Jenny and David Gentiles here, um, it's called Already Enough. And there's just something special about that song. Yeah, it's good. Because it talks about, even though you may be going through something, what you know and what God has done for you, that's already enough. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can, you can praise Him through everything. Mm -hmm. So, Amen. I love that song. And thank you guys for writing it. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Thank you do that one. We wrote that with um, a small group of kids, again, an emerging sound, and we had a dear pastor on our mind that day who had lost his whole family. Mm. Wow. And uh, it's hard to understand when things like that happen. Mm. But there's a recipe through the Word that will get us through anything and everything, and it is to look up higher at His face. Wow. So knowing Him is already enough. Yeah. He can bring us home through anything. Wow. And so I'm glad to report that our dear pastor has mm -hmm. been so sustained by the only sustaining force there is. He's already mm. enough for everything already. that life will throw at us. Mm. I do like that one, Charity. David, do you mind singing it? That would be awesome. Right. What I don't understand I'll leave it at the cross Can't hold it in my hands You're higher than my thoughts You're greater than my ways You're right when all is wrong So I will choose to say Come on. There's beauty when I see And when I don't you're a captivating mystery Oh my God What I already know Is I will praise you And what I already know Is that I must And I was made to love you You are worthy of my trust And what I already know are true your spirit lights the way your kindness leads me through to rise anew each day there is there's beauty when i see and when i don't your captivating mystery oh my god and what i already know is i will pray And what I already know is already enough. Whoa. And I don't need to know tomorrow. I will trust you. You are faithful, never changing. Oh, my God. Whoa. And I don't need to know tomorrow. I will trust you. You are faithful. 
And what I already know is I will praise you. And what I already know is that, oh, I must know I was made to love you. And what I already know is already enough. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, God. Okay, who wants to follow that? Who's next? <laughs> There have been these moments where it is like heaven is touching down on earth and the glory of God, he blesses us with his glory, he blesses us with his presence. And I remember those times. And it was almost like God gave us these songs to help mark those days and help mark those moments and help remind us about what he has in store for us. And to say, okay, this is a picture of what I have for my bride, I have for my church. Take what you, it's almost like the Lord's Supper, the first time our mm-hmm. Lord gave the, uh, participated with that with, with, the, with the disciples. He said, remember me, remember these moments, and do this every time you think of me, you remember me. And these songs are like communion for me. They point me back to those moments where God's glory came down upon us, and we were changed in a moment. And I think... Um, I'd love, could we do Touch by Fire? Yeah. Yes. Because that song for me kind of encapsulated that.
Jenny, tell us some favorites that we haven't sung yet. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of them I love. I love Feels Like We're Flying. Mm -hmm. um, wrote that with Crystal and uh, Don Poitras, another good friend. Love One More Step that Melanie sings. That's a good one. Um, yeah. Love Divine Exchange. I, I love all of them. Corey, I, I don't know which ones are your favorites. I love them all. Um, and from the interns, I love Born Again by Laurel. and. Um, I love one thing I've learned, Caden. Love good news. I just, there's so many. I really enjoy them all. So I don't know. Whatever y'all want to do. Well, well, and I could do flying. Um, so with getting to be a worship leader um, at a church, which is just something that we've always been called to, we also just write songs for every occasion of life because God is with us. Whenever uh, we fall in love, He's with us. When we have heartbreak, He's with us um, in everything. And so I love to write songs about moments in life and about relationships and, um, and just about life. And this is one that I walked into a co-write one day with Jenny um, and I had, um, I had this idea about, uh, with Jenny and Don Poitras, your granny. I'm about my, my mama. Yep, mm -hmm. my mama. Um, when I first fell in love with Will, I had a sassy little mama that cooked all the time. She was standing in the kitchen cooking. And I walked in and I said, Mama, I was like, you're never going to believe this. I am so in love. I was like, there's never been anybody more in love than this. And uh, uh, not you, not, oh, not mom, not dad. This is the best thing ever. And this, this is my husband, Will, by the way, that uh, this that I was telling her about. And this was almost 20 years ago now. And um, I told her, I said, Mama, I feel like I'm flying. And she whipped around with her little spoon in her hand and she said, Honey, you ain't even left the ground. And uh, boy, did she know. She had been married for a long time. And there were many uh, ups and downs and uh, good times, bad times. <laughs> um, times that uh, God got us through. Mm -hmm. And so I came with that idea, and we very quickly wrote, yeah. Feels Like We're Flying. It was a sweet, sweet day mm -hmm. of writing, and uh, you can feel mm -hmm. the Lord in His presence when we go places and sing this song. Um, we sang it in people's weddings, and uh, we just feel God's presence.
Maybe it feels like we're flying We ain't even left the ground It's just gonna get better and better With every sunny day, with every storm the weather It'll take I'm so glad we wrote that song. I can feel, I can feel, I just feel God when I sing it. What's up? Sweet. Oh. Y'all, y'all, y'all stop that. I love it. Yeah. Wow. I would love to hear Charity sing Cleansed. I think what I love about this song while they're setting up is uh, I love just, uh, I was radically saved radically saved um, from death to life, literally, um, by the blood of Jesus. And Jenny and me and Charity all wrote this one day, and we, yeah. we walked in together, and you, I just could feel God mm -hmm. when I walked in the room. And this song kind of wrote itself. It was what we needed to sing. And you know what we've, we've really had on our minds to do? There are words that we've thrown around in church for a very long time that have such depth of meaning and they're so critical to our faith and they're critical to our common language but for some reason they haven't made it into the cool hip songs as of late and we wanted to bring them back because that's our heritage yeah. these words like born again that's our whole life yeah. i mean sanctified that's the holiness of jesus christ he set us apart Amen. So, yeah. baptized that's one of the that's one of the evidences of a life with God, and that, res that represents our old man put to death, and doesn't just represent, helps to accomplish it. Represents our old man put to death, and us raised again in the newness of his life, not our own, because I'm crucified with Christ in the life I live in this body. I live by faith in the Son of God, who died and gave himself for me. And so, I don't, I, I, I would like to see the old language of our common heritage proudly sung off our lips again. Mm -hmm. And I love the way Charity does this one because it really unites, it unites all, gen all generations and all the denominations. So take us to church, girlfriend. Yes. All right. <laughs> Where I wait 
resurrection and the touch of your breath. I die now daily because I've learned to live in the grace that belongs to all who are born. thankful for being born again. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And that song just renews that thankfulness every single time. Yeah. There's not one time that we sing that song that 
It just doesn't bring me to that place where I remember that He is everything. And I'm just so thankful that I know who He is. And Jenny, this is your interview. What do you want to hear next? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, there's one that uh, Melanie and Corey and I wrote at our house um, that I love. I love it so much. Uh, it's on your new record. Is it okay if we do it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? Um, it it's called Don't Ever Let Me Go. Mm -hmm. And the reality is, is we know that once God grabs hold of us, he doesn't let us go, right. but our heart needs to say, don't ever let me go. Mm -hmm. Because when our flesh man takes over and our stubborn will begins to try to assert its dying last gasp of air, um, <laughs> if we've been raised in church and if we've been serving the Lord, it's easy to believe that we've disappointed him so deeply. And uh, in those moments, we need to remember that he knew us before he called us. He knows what he's making us into. He's working his image into our life. So yes. don't ever let us go. Don't ever let me go. Because it was just the opportunity to agree with what God's already done Amen. and is doing Amen. and will always continue to do. Because without him being the keeper, none of us have hope. Mm -hmm. That's right. So Amen. if you would, I would love you all to do that one.
You know, I mentioned that I was at the Emerging Sound summer camp, and I remembered that all the songs we recorded that, that one night, you know, were amazing. But thinking back on that night, the one that I keep going back to, Kevin, is your song, Never Look Away. Do you mind doing that one? Yeah, would love to do that one. Yes, let's do it. Oh, 
the saints of God will see the returning of our King. We will never look away as we turn our eyes upon Jesus. You sing with me. Look full in His wonderful face and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of His glory Thank you, Kevin. Yes. Wow. And it's so true. It's not a fairy tale. It's not a fairy tale. Amen. It's going to actually happen. All of yeah. it. Every bit of it yeah. actually is going to happen. Mm. You know, it's interesting to think about how often I, I don't think about Jesus coming back for us. And that song, um, interestingly enough, um, like I was encouraged but yet challenged. I was encouraged because, you know, I don't think about it often. I, you know, I, I, I tend to live my life very inwardly. And um, so I was encouraged, you know, um, to, to, to think about it and to have it brought up. But I was also challenged because I, again, don't think about it often. And you're right, Jenny. It is reality, yeah. and um, I mean, my prayer for our community, and even through that song, that the church can have something to grab onto, um, melodically even, to uh, to proclaim, to confess that together, and to have hearts that actually get and understand um, that Jesus is bigger and better than anything that this world has to offer. You know that that God would use that song. Um, you know, the Holy Spirit would, would have, help us give our minds attention and our hearts affection to Jesus, you know? Amen. So anyways, I'm really hopeful that, that, that um, yeah, and I'm encouraged. What was the assignment that day? That, what preceded that song? Jenny, you gave the assignment uh, of, to write a song of the, the returning of Christ and not that, but also what it, it would Pauline. sound like. It was Pauline's. Right. Oh, it was Pauline. Yeah, that's right. Pauline. That's right, yes. There aren't songs yet good enough to welcome his coming. What was it, Andrew? Yes. There, there aren't songs yet good enough to welcome his hmm. coming. Yeah. Can you say it Jeez. again? There aren't songs yet good enough to welcome his coming. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's an awesome topic, right? You know? Jenny. Crazy. Jenny, tell us who Pauline is. Um... Pauline is a treasure of my heart. The Lord provided her to me as a mother in the Lord right after I got saved. And she took me under her wing and every bit of discipline I needed, she was quick to give. She had zero tolerance for my flesh. She had every ounce of grace and mercy for the Jesus she saw in me and for who she knew I was called to be. Mm. Anything mm -hmm. that did not line up and measure up, she was quick to not coddle. And so um, she taught me well. And uh, Amen. I love her deeply, deeply, mm -hmm. deeply. We had the blessed privilege of um, being told her family let us know that she was passing. And um, um, we went to so Oregon we, to we see her. We flew to Oregon to, to spend some time with her. Mm -hmm. yeah. But. Um, I was walking out of the door on the way to the airport. It was a fast trip. And uh, I, my eyes fell on Mark Batterson's book, The Circle Maker. I hadn't read that one yet, and um, I don't typically read a lot of pop culture. But the Holy Spirit pointed that one out to me, so I grabbed it. And the Lord used that on the plane to prepare me um, mm. to go be with her. 
and he gave me faith. He gave mm -hmm. us faith on mm -hmm. the plane. Um, I wasn't ready to let her go yet. There was too much I hadn't heard her say yet. Mm. We got there, and the resurrection, resurrection was with us. Jesus was with us. And we walked in. We began praying over immediately. And by the time, the second day mm. there, she was up. She was uh, out of her chair. She, she was, was mobile. very yeah. mobile. Um, she put on her workout clothes by the she, third she day. She worked out one day. Worked out. <laughs> um, and uh, then began um, very earnestly leading the lady of the Lord beside her. Yeah, next to her. She kept uh, interjecting into our conversations, the lady beside her. And uh, Pauline kept feeding into her. And um, the, Lord, the Lord resurrected her. Pauline thought she was going to be an emerging sound. She kept telling us over and over mm -hmm. that she wanted to go to Texas. She wanted to be an emerging sound. So it was um, interesting to us. Uh, two days before emerging sound, she went home to be with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Wasn't expecting that because um, it looked to me like a whole new journey had begun. And it was because... Uh, she, she had very specific words uh, for this community, uh, for the emerging sound as well. But she, she couldn't get enough of the stories yeah, about y'all. Yeah. Told her about every one of y'all. Shared y'all's music with her. So at, now I feel like I understand. I feel like the Lord let me know while it emerging sound exactly what was going on. We have all of her words that she set up. Mm -hmm. The Lord resurrected her to give to us. Mm -hmm. um, so we have her precious words that are specifically for this precious family. And we have her books to steward. And she was able to go home in peace. Mm -hmm. And honestly, as crazy as this sounds, I hope it doesn't sound too, too crazy. Um, but when I walked through the door right behind me for the very first time to this house, it genuinely felt like the, crowd, the cloud of witnesses were holding their breath with the Lord waiting for me to walk in. I felt like I had walked into my own surprise party. Um, I really felt like Pauline and my grandmother and Ruth Saban herself had um, met each other <laughs> amongst a great cloud of witnesses, got to know each other, found out about us, found out about the house, <laughs> came up with a glorious plan, presented it to the Lord, and he said, awesome, here we go. And I think that's how it went. I think that's how it went. I'll be surprised if when we all get there and we hear the story, it doesn't look something like that. Wow. But it was her that said, there is not yet music beautiful enough to welcome the Lord's return. She said, harmonies, lots of harmonies. High, high harmonies. High harmonies, so high the church can all sing together. <coughs> With that in mind, Kevin, can you do that chorus again? Yes, sir. Sing it again. Yes, sir, voices. The saints of God will sing. The praise of Christ will ring as the bride will turn her gaze. Oh, the saints of God will see the returning of our King, and we will never look away. We will never, and we will never. Should do the song yeah, that um, yeah. that was written specifically for Pauline's request. Yeah. Paul, you were there for that. Yeah, Paul. Um, and it was an unexpected honor. I came down to Emerging Sound because Jenny wanted me to talk about CCLI, and I was glad to do that. Right after that session, you pulled me into your writing session. And it wasn't an easy session. There was some back and forth. 
<laughs> Remember, we worked through lunch. We, um, there, was, there was some tussling going on. Melanie, maybe you remember. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> but um, what a song that came out of it. Um, and as Melody does it, uh, Melanie does it, I, I love the whole thing, but man, I especially love that bridge. Mm -hmm. what, what, a, what a bridge and what a song. And it all does go back to um, there aren't yet songs good enough. Heaven's music is a whole different thing that she's hearing now. And yet, God tells us to sing a new song to the best of our abilities, to the best of our limitations. So here we are. But, um, glory. Glory. <laughs> Just one word is enough, and yet I want more. Just one. Just one glimpse, just one touch, just one word is enough, and yet I
let's follow that up if we can with um, Lifto Gates, Corey. May. Let the hosts of heaven come rejoicing. Let the waters wave and rocks cry out. Let every saint of God roar like thunders breaking out. Let the freedom singers raise an anthem. Let the streets resound with joy and praise. For there is a river filled with gladness and with grace. And lift up gates open wide. Come to uh, finish this thing up than to just say amen to that. Mm -hmm. So let's sing amen. Mm -hmm. Can we do that? Right.
the blood that washed us white the God who was and is and shall be forevermore sing holy holy is the Lord Amen